so in previous session we have started the discussion on ubm factory and we have seen uh, why this factory is necessary for us and uh, uh, how to create a factory and how to register our class component or class object uh, with our factory by using the macros we can uh, we can actually register our uh, uh, components or factories okay coming to components how to register the components we can use the macro called uvm underscore component underscore utils and we can pass the class name and followed by how to register our objects we can register them by using the macro called uvm underscore object underscore utils class name okay so like this uh, we can uh, register our components or objects in, in uh, with the factory and we can also register our parameterized components as well as our parameterized objects and we have also seen the constructed defaults in uvm what are, and how those are different from uh, sv and uh, yeah for components what is the constructor default and what and for objects what are the constructor constructor defaults we have seen and yeah so now let's see the next step so actually uh, what is the first step of factory uvm factory is to uh, register our class so register our class okay so if it is a component use the macro which is related to components and if it is an object, use a macro uh, which is relevant to the object. Okay, that we have seen. Or if it is a parameterized class, use the uh, use the macro which is related which is related to parameterized class. Okay, so like that we are going to register our class first. Okay, next step is to create. So by using the create method, we are going to create the instance of the class. Okay, so we have to create the instance or we have to create the object for our component or the object in the higher level modules right for example if we create a uh, driver if we create a driver class inside an agent class so inside an agent we have a driver and this agent is in an environment okay so this agent class is in our environment so this environment will contains the handle of our agent as well as driver okay so how to create the objects for this agent or driver so in sv in system log, what we have seen is we will use a keyword new and we will create the objects for this uh, handles agent and driver but uh, in uvm we are registering our uh, classes driver as well as agent with the uvm factory right so we cannot use this new keyword we are going to use the keyword called create okay by using the keyword called create we are going to create the objects for our handles driver and as well as lower level uh, lower level class handle uh, we are going to create the objects for them in the top level modules like environment okay so let's see the syntax for this so coming to the create method syntax uh, for uh, instance name followed by which is equal to type followed by uh, scope resolution operator type id again scope resolution operator create keyword name of the handle and uh, type of the handle whether it is a parent or child and for objects the syntax will be type scope resolution operator type id and again scope resolution operator create and we will pass the name of the handle that's it there is no hierarchy in the case of uh, in the case of objects in the case of components only we will be having the concept of hierarchy where in the case of objects we don't have any uh, concept of hierarchy okay so we don't use the keyword uh, we don't uh, pass the parent okay and uh, in the objects yeah so this is the method which we uh, use for creating the objects for components as well as objects now let's see an example here so basically this uh, create method is used in the build phase about the phases we will learn in the next session so for now uh, just remember that create uh, is uh, used in build phase okay and one more thing this type id so this type id will be created by uh, the factory itself internally so this type id is the id which we have discussed in our previous session also right so this type id will be created by our factory itself so it is a unique id which is given to every registered component or object okay so this is a format which we have to create the uh, object yeah so in this typical example i have given a class environment which is extending from um environment 
so we should we cannot write the uh, class name as it is we should extend it from the parent class okay so uvm environment is the uh, parent class okay from that we are extending this environment class and we are creating the handle for my underscore component there is some uh, class called my underscore component so for that we are creating uh, my handle which is called my m underscore my underscore component and here uh, for my underscore param underscore component also we are creating one handle okay for these two classes i am creating my handle and uh, the constructor and register uh, registration macro we can uh, fill up here and the component are and parameterized components created them. So here we can see in the build phase, uh, don't worry about this build phase, we will uh, discuss this in the next session. So in the build phase, we can observe m underscore my underscore component, which is equal to my underscore component. What is this my underscore component? It is a class type, okay? My underscore component, scope resolution operator, type ID, okay? We should provide this type. And there is no need to provide the type ID, it will only uh, refer to the type ID of this my underscore component. We just write the type ID, okay, followed by create. Create the handle name m underscore my underscore component, comma, this. This refers to the present class, okay. So, like this, we are going to create an object for this m underscore my underscore component, okay. For this handle, we are going to create an object. Same for this parameterized class handle also, we are going to create an object. So like this, with the help of the create uh, method, we are going to create the objects for this handle. We are not going to use this new method. We are going to use this create. So in the build phase, we are basically, so in the build phase, we are basically building the, building the components or we are actually building our objects which are present in our uh, sorry objects will not come under hierarchy so we are basically building the components which are present in our hierarchy so basically building of components will takes place from bottom to top bottom to top this all all we will discuss in our when we are discussing about the phases in uvm so don't worry about this so basically the in the build phase we are going to create the uh, component okay we are going to create a component and the components will be built from the bottom to the top level okay so like this with the help of the create method we are going to create the object for our uh, component okay so like this and for objects and parameterized objects this is the syntax we are going to use so test underscore sequence is a object handle my underscore sequence is the class name class type and type id create test underscore sequence no need to mention the parent because it is it it doesn't come under hierarchy so object classes will not come under hierarchy only um, the component classes will come under hierarchy and for the parameterized classes this is the same syntax parameterized object classes just we should mention the parameters that's it okay so this is about uh, the create method which is available in the factory uvm factory so is this clear do you have any doubt yeah now Coming to the factory overriding, coming to the factory overriding, how to uh, actually do this overriding? We have discussed the concept of overriding, why this overriding concept is uh, helpful for us. Everything we have discussed theoretically, but how we are going to achieve this overriding? Let's see now. So there are two types of uh, factory overriding actually. So the first type is global override. global override and the second type is instance override and the second type is instance override so there are two types of overriding one is global overriding and second one is instance overriding okay so the syntax for let's see one by one so the syntax for global override let's see the syntax for global overriding global overriding So the syntax for global override is set type override by type set type override by type in the arguments we should mention the original type followed by scope resolution operator get type 
comma substitute type substitute type get type so uh, by which a uh, component you want to uh, substitute that uh, that class you should mention here followed by bit replace is equal to one okay don't uh, focus on the uh, each argument specification so just follow the syntax okay let's say so for example if we want to uh, replace so let's say if we have two classes bus underscore right underscore driver is already present in our hierarchy so we want to replace this with uh, let's say uh, bus underscore read underscore driver okay so i want to uh, replace where and all bus underscore right underscore driver which is present in my test bench architecture i want to replace everything uh, by bus underscore read underscore driver so i can use the uh, factory global override so how can i do this simple it is set type override by type and in this i can write uh, bus right driver bus right driver get type and uh, followed by comma bus read driver bus read driver get type get underscore type bit replace is equal to 1 bit replace is equal to so this is how we are going to over so this is how we are going to override uh, where and all uh, we have bus write driver we are going to override everything uh, with bus read driver so where and all we, we find bus write driver we are, it is going to override it with bus read driver so this is how we are going to read, uh, override it. Now, if we don't want uh, everything to be overridden, so where in all I have I find bus write driver. I don't want everything every bus write driver to be overridden by bus read driver. I want just a specific uh, instance to be overridden. Then I can use override by instance. Okay, so that that is second type, so which means instance. override okay so what is the syntax for this let's see so coming to instance override the syntax is set instance override by type followed by we should mention the path okay we should mention the path to this followed by original type scope resolution of operator get type so by using this method we will get the type of the class get the type okay followed by substitute type get type And bit replace is equal to so this is how we are going to follow this syntax for doing instance overriding for example if I have a agent like this this is agent 1 and this is agent 2 and this is environment environment is containing agent 1 and agent 2 and agent 1 is containing let's say uh, in the previous example bus ride driver so bus right driver okay and it is also containing some other components like monitor or code board okay and here also we are having the same bus right driver let's say it is also having the same bus right driver and it is containing some monitor or code board or something else okay so if i want only this specific instance to be overridden by bus read driver so this 
should replace my original bus ride driver okay only this specific instance this should not be altered okay so what can i do is i can follow this uh, set instance overriding so how to do that what i can do is so this is agent one and agent two right so i can follow this syntax set instance override by type So I should mention the path, okay? So how can I uh, mention this path is? So this is star dot agent one agent one dot. I should uh, only override this bus ride driver, right? So I'll write uh, star. Okay, followed by bus right driver scope resolution operator get type followed by bus read driver get type. Okay, and bit replace is equal to one. So this is how I'm going to override my, or it is also it is uh, not mandatory. Okay, you can. So this is how we are going to uh, override my particular instance. Okay, so we can also override our agent also if needed, or the two agents also if needed by using this uh, specific. Uh, override by instance okay so this is about factory overriding in julian so that's all for this session thank you